Hello. Today we're going to talk about cropping an image using QImage Ultimate. Seems like a lot of fun to try, but before we go into that, I really should think we should just touch on something that a lot of people know and a lot of people don't know. It's called aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is simply dividing the width of the image in pixels by the height of the image in pixels. And if you have a SLR type camera, chances are it's a 3 to 2 ratio. That's like 3,000 pixels from left to right by 2,000 pixels from top to bottom. Now, that's a ratio of your image. If you take that ratio and put it on a 4 by 6 print, that's the same ratio. There'll be nothing chopped off, nothing lost, nothing to crop. But if we decide we want to make an 8x10 out of this image, now we have a different problem. So let's have a look. I'm going to hold down the mouse button, come up with my print sizes, click on 8x10. We've got an 8x10 format up there for us now. And right now I'm going to shut off this crop scissor. I'm going to take it off. Auto cropping is off. And we're going to put the image in the queue. And notice we have big white borders around here. We don't really fill out that 8x10 page. Well, what do we have? We look down here in the queue, and you get the queue by clicking on either tab, and it says 10 by 667. Hmm, that's a 3 to 2 ratio, just like we talked about. That's the aspect ratio of your image. But I want an 8 by 10. Okay, we select the image, we right click and hold down so we get our sizes, and we go back to this crop scissor. Now, it says auto cropping off, auto cropping on. I think for a better understanding, I call it permission to crop. I'm giving QImage permission to crop and fill out the request for an 8x10. So I click that on, and now we have, if you look down here, 8x10 or 10x8. Okay, but what did we lose? Well, let's take a good look at the image when I remove the permission. Okay, look down here in this lower right area. You see that part of the red flower? See how it disappears? QImage must chop off something from the left and the right in order to fill out the top and the bottom. It's as simple as that. It's a 3 by 2 aspect ratio image going into a 4 by 5 aspect ratio frame. Okay, I think if you think about that a while, it'll come quite clear to you. Okay, now we have this, and maybe we're not thrilled with the way QImage decided to crop it. Well, we have control. We hold down this, give a click on this button there, and there's our image. The frame is 8 by 10, and we can move this just like that. If we decide that's the way we'd rather see it, then that's the way it's going to be. Okay, I click Done. And there's the way it's going to be in my 8x10. If I want to remove this print crop, I click on the little scissor there. And now I'm back to the way QImage did it in the first place. Okay. Uh, should I want to uncrop this? No problem. Hold down the Take off your permission to crop. You're back that way. Supposing you had a family photo and everybody was covered left to right. And you didn't want to chop off any of the family. Well, then you'd make your print with the permission to crop scissors turned off, and you'd get the full image. Okay. In the previous uh, video, we showed you how you could make a print crop. We'll go back into the full page editor again. By zooming this bar up and centering where you want it, and that would allow you to make a print crop. There's an alternate method of doing this. I'm going to get out of the screen. No, I don't want to save that. There's an alternate method, and that requires going into the image editor, which we'll do with a double click right in the middle of the picture. And there's our image editor screen. OK, this is kind of interesting. First thing that happens, because the permission to crop scissors was turned on, we get a crop lock check mark here telling us that if we want to draw a crop, QImage will hold that 8 by 10 aspect ratio. Let's try. Okay, I'm pulling the box down. No matter what I do, if you look carefully, it says 5 by 4. 
right in that flyout. I'm going to pull down. I'm going to try and make it bigger. No matter what I do, it's going to hold that 5x4. I can move it. I can move it left and right and up and down. But no matter what I do, I've got 5x4. So that makes it easier for you if you wanted to see exactly what you want to put into a 8x10 frame, you can make it just the way you want. If you don't, just uncheck crop lock and now QImage says good. Now you can pull out the size, do anything you want. I'll tell you where you are and right now we're at 5.23 to 3. But that's not the point. The point is you have control. You can do whatever you want whenever you want. Now I'm going to take this off, go back to the original, and show you something else. We have the crop wizard. Where do you see this? There's the crop wizard. You tell the crop wizard what you're looking to do. I'm going to make an 8 by 10, so I put a click in there, and then it says to me, what's more important, the top and the bottom, or the left and the right? Well, let's say top and bottom, because well, you can see there's not much fuzzy stuff here that we care about. Use this recommended crop ratio. I click there and there's my box. All set for me at 8 by 10. I can move it. I can shrink it. I can go up here and say pull down. Okay, I can move it left. I can move it right. I can do whatever I want with it. But the ratio is still there to help you decide. Okay. Now I'm going to pull this down drastically just so you can see a little better when we release this and you can see what we're doing. Okay, I'm going to say done. And QImage says, are you sure you want to keep this? Yep. I click OK. And there's the crop I just made. Okay, there it is right here and also in here. Now. QImage does not do anything to your original image. Even though this is the original image, QImage did not do anything to it. Okay? All QImage did was put a crop filter over the top. Now I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to click on that to select it. I'm going to right click and up here I'm going to click on remove filter. Well, I get a box that's telling me all the possible filters I could have used and here's the one that says crop. I click on that and say remove selected. Are you sure? Yep. Watch your pictures. Bingo. You're back to the original one. You didn't do any damage. You didn't hurt anything. You didn't destroy anything. And you didn't change anything. So now you've seen two ways to crop and two ways to remove the crop just in case you change your mind. I'll go back over the first one again just so you remember. If I crop this this way and centered it and then I said done okay there's a scissor over here a little scissor icon if I click it it says do you want to remove the manual cropping from this print yes there it is it's gone so you never do anything permanent that'll harm the, your image you can always get it back to the original I hope you've learned something and we thank you very much for listening